So King Ghidorah was obviously a vital part of Godzilla King of the Monsters. He was the main antagonist and as I have said many times, he was momentarily the king of the whole world. There was no talk of Godzilla, King Kong, Rodan, or Mothra. They were all inferior for a good part of that film. But of course, like we saw, Godzilla reclaimed his throne at the very end. And of course, there was a very cryptic post credit scene. We all wondered what this would mean, and most of us concluded that Mega King Ghidorah would be showing up in Godzilla vs. Kong. That made some people upset, and it also made some people excited. That's just the way these things go. But as it does turn out, that was not true. Mega King Ghidorah, as far as we do know right now, will not be showing up at all. It is a concept that will not even be used in this movie, so that does kind of come as a surprise. However, that after credit scene was not for nothing. It has been discussed that King Ghidorah's DNA will be used in some way. Whether this is for King Kong, Mega Godzilla, or Godzilla, nobody can tell just yet. But King Ghidorah will be playing at least some role during this movie. And that does make you wonder, what is the extent of this role? He was such a tidal wave and a force in Godzilla King of the Monsters. I haven't checked this yet, but I would say he probably had the most screen time of any monster in that film. So it would be strange to go from that to then nothing in 2020. And honestly, if I did have to predict the extent of his role in this film, I would say it will be similar to the Skullcrawlers. We have confirmation that the Skullcrawlers will be showing up in this movie, and there is some detail with them. Of course, King Ghidorah's roar and Godzilla King of the Monsters woke them up, and now this has made King Kong extremely angry. He is not happy that the Skullcrawlers rose up for the first time in almost 50 years. So regarding them showing up in Godzilla vs. Kong, it will not be anything too massive. Even though they are confirmed to appear and they do have that background, I do have my doubts that they will show up for more than 2 minutes. And I do believe that King Ghidorah will be held to that same standard. No more than 2 minutes, but still somewhat of an impact on the film itself. He will not be destroying cities or fighting other titans. That is all in the past now. He had his time and he had his chance, and he failed it. Godzilla came out on top, and he is now done for good. But the DNA, in my opinion, could surpass that two minute mark. What about you guys though? When you look back on Godzilla King of the Monsters and you think of the important role that King Ghidorah played, will it translate into Godzilla vs. Kong? Or could Ghidorah only have a cameo? How many minutes of screen time will he have in this film? Of more than two minutes or less than two minutes? Write all of your opinions on this topic down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.